Hello and welcome back, Forex fans. It's Rob from Explomity, and I'm here again with Interstellar Space Genesis, the natural law expansion, and it has just gotten its another update, which is just insane to me. I, I can't tell you how many times this thing has been updated free of charge, and I I just really appreciate that Praxis Games keeps working on it, keeps doing their thing with it, and it, it continues to become better and better, but what they've done this time around is actually... In fixed some of the the ways that the nebula look and then also just added some nice I, I i can't i don't know if you can see it but you there is just basically upgrades to the star map in a lot of ways it just feels and looks much better and hopefully you can see it it's kind of hard to tell it's very very subtle but it just looks like everything kind of fits better and i really like that about this and i really like that about praxis games for continuing to work on it so what our goals are at this point are to continue our, well, our war, right? We're still at war with these guys. I want to make sure we're still, we're not. Okay, so we need to make that happen. We're going to be at war with the cake here again a little bit. But for the time being, let's go ahead and build up some of our fleet. And with the last episode, I was given some guidance, some reminders that perhaps we weren't looking at the best armor, but I see that we are. We can add fusion drive speed here, but that's taking away some space. So what we can do is maybe take away a laser. Nope, that's not gonna be enough. So we'll do even more lasers. And then we've increased our speed, our maneuverability, sorry, that. Uh, our maneuverability so that we can actually move a little bit faster while we're in combat. And I don't see... It says whole reinforcement light. He had mentioned that there was some things not being done with the armor, but it looks like this is the best armor I have. So, anyways, we'll keep going. I think we're going to allow for better maneuverability. And we'll come down to Mata here. Actually, we'll come through this way. We'll make it easier. And after the starbase, we'll start building some of my orcas, my orca battleships. And let's keep going. A lot of ships moving around, a lot of stuff happening. All right, so diplomatic request, the Maltar Union are requesting a mining treaty. You will go ahead and say yes to that. And then we've got the production now active on Medinala 3. So very good, we've completely exploited this system, which is good. And then we have, yep, that's another one we've done. And then we've reached here, which is check, and it looks like there's a, oh, that's not good. Why is that green? Yeah, I'm not sure why that's green. I mean, I guess it's green because I can colonize it, but it's not green because it's any good. So we will bring these guys back. Is there anywhere else I can go to? No, it looks like there's nothing really else to do. Maybe I scrap this. Let's go ahead and scrap it. No need for it. There's only a couple of stars that I haven't explored completely. And I'm not really too nervous about those. Or concerned. Or interested. Any any of those words. <laughs> Alright, allow ships to move up to 10 parks. Alright, great. So we're moving farther and farther away from our... I wonder what at this point what our range is. I forgot what it... We can look to see what our scan levels are. So this one hasn't been scanned because there's a space amoeba there. Where is... No, that doesn't seem to be it. Where is... I thought there was one that shows you... Yeah, I don't really like that. I'm glad that you can take those away. For some reason... Maybe th this is my range? It must be my range out here. That must be it then. Alright, so what's next? We're going to look to see what we're going to build as far as... Or research, I should say, as far as more weapons go. The railgun, maybe? Base, base, 50. Damage, 15. The phaser rifle is going to be important here in just a little bit as we start to take more. So we're going to actually do the phaser rifle and we'll come back to maybe do another weapon for one of our ships afterwards. 
I think that makes sense to me. It probably makes no sense to anybody else because I'm not very, uh, yeah, I'm not very strategic when it comes to think. Well, I mean, I'm trying to be, but we'll see. Anyway, so rival fleet tracking report. You discovered a boson star, and ooh, okay. Where is that? Here, okay. I don't understand why that's telling me now. Well, actually, it's telling me F0. So where's F0? F0 should be all the way down here. So that's where it is, it's down here. Okay, all right, so we might actually want to take the survey ship. Oh, that's a support ship. And here I was, I just took away my support ship, or my survey ship, like, a moron. Here we go. We'll send this guy here then. All right. So, what else? Okay, we have the Sting Destroyer. We have a couple mana cruisers. And what do we have here? We have a couple, a cruiser, a destroyer, and a couple of assault ships. But I believe we can't actually declare war. Oh no! Let me do that. Let's come back here. I can't. I believe we can't actually declare war on these guys just yet, right? We have to wait. I think I might take a hit if I do it. Plus, I want to wait until I can get those orcas ready, so it won't really matter that much. So we'll come over here and just see how far we are. Ugh. We could rush it for three thousand three hundred forty-nine. That's a lot. We're also making a lot, so you know what we're gonna go ahead and do it. So it's negative five percent morale, but you know what we're gonna do it. It's gonna completely negate. I mean, that's like twenty turns that we just completely got rid of. So I'm good with that. Cut to the chase, and now we can start to work on our orcas, which I'm really excited about. So our orca battleships, ninety-nine turns. That's because this has been more re reset a little bit. It's still quite a few turns to get that done. And I forget, is made up my... No, Trioba was my... Did I just... I think I did. I think I screwed up a little bit here. I don't know why I was so worried about the space... Oh, man. The space base there went... Or the star base... When I actually had the ability to build these things here. Oh, man. Oh, well, you know what? No big deal. It was a huge mistake, but I don't care. We're just going to keep going. All right, so, yeah, we'll we'll trade with the Sulox there. Even if I'm making giant mistakes in the form of spending way too many credits on something I don't even need. All right, so we'll continue searching here then. And what do we have here? So we have Dark Matter and Tourism Bonus. Ooh, that's a really big Tourism Bonus, too. So we're going to send... I think we have... Do we have any? No, we don't. Maybe we have some... One of our major... So Palacia... Palacia... Should probably have the ability to build an outpost pretty quickly. So we'll do that. All right, let's make it happen. In the meantime, do you think maybe I should send at least a cruiser that way to to defend it off? Cause I wouldn't want to lose that. It looks like somebody's sending somebody there, so I don't want I don't want to lose that system. Oof! Yeah. They took my survey ship. I don't like that. And now, guess what? All right, we have monitored your belligerent species closely and cannot allow you to threaten your galactic piece of... Okay, great, we're at war with the Human Federation now. Okay. Well, that's all right, because we're gonna crush them. And I think they're the ones up here, right? If I'm not wrong. They're the blue, right? I wish I... I wish I... Oh, wow. They're at war with the Dragul as well. So, yes. They're the light blue. But I don't... Is that them here? Yes. Because they're soul. 
Alright, that's fine. They're not in a really good place to attack me, so I'm not sure why they would have declared war, but that's fine with me. Totally good with it. It's what I wanted anyways. Alright, the bonus is not replaced, so great. We've gained that. Let's go ahead and send these guys this way. I think we could probably take out... Can't travel blocked by Nebula. Blocked by Nebula. All right, we're going to send them there. We're going to send the Manta over to Sophila. I mean, my idea was to take these guys out, but now that the humans have done what they've done, it seems like a good idea to take out the humans. All right, so what can we do as far as phasers? Uh, damage of 7 to 20. This is 15, but what else? Beam accelerators, um, plus 10% beam damage per source of helium. We have three three of those, so that's another 30% towards beams. Are, are the railguns considered beams? Nope, they're kinetic, which makes sense. The graviton flux is considered a beam. Huh. Anything else that looks like we could... What's customs dock? Alright, so we gain BC per popping colony. You know, we're going to go with the Graviton Flux. Since we have the helium sources, that'll be a good bonus to our damage ability. Alright, and what is this again we can do? So we can... Plus 50% of strategic resources extracted. Yeah, we won't need that just yet. We're going to come down here. We're going to keep exploring that area. And I should have... Yeah, the Orcas are ready. That's right. The Orca is ready. So the Orca is going to come over here and start messing stuff up. And infrastructure... Okay, infrastructure upgrade on Sophila. The, the planet that I took from the Kaik here. So dome... Protects three pops from hazardous environment in need of one. You know, I think I'm going to do this because this is not a very good environment for me. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, wait. Yep. The infra upgrade as well. So let's do planetary one more time. Let's make it as good as we can get it. All right. All right. As we start to kind of position ourselves here against these mofos all right so place has got its outpost ship now i'm going to send it down this way we're going to take that one spot which is a good spot really good spot all right so yeah we're going to attack but what do we attack we attack these guys i guess yeah that's what we do all right so we're going to occupy this see ya thank you All right, so Xuda Adir is about to leave. He's this guy. Don't really care about him. So you can go. And the Obelox asteroid belt was taken by me. Yep. Graz has a new desire. What do you need, sir? I wish to command a battleship during battle. Are you already on a battleship? Because you... Wait... No, you're on a destroyer. All right, so I believe the orc has a battleship, which is great because we can go ahead and have him switch. We'll have him switch to that one. We'll give him the orca. And then that means we can take him to battle soon. And he'll do well, too. So, All right, great. We now can exploit... We're going to we're going to exploit some BC. That sounds like a good idea to me. I don't understand why this isn't my color now. Maybe it'll turn my color next turn. Or is that my color? That is my color. Whoops. <laughs> for some reason, I thought it was. I have no idea why, man. I'm not colorblind at all, but for some reason, I thought it was that light color, and I was thinking. That's not cool, but it is my color. So, rival settlement report. Settlement report. Where is that one? So it's here, I think. Yeah. 
I wish it would take me to it when I clicked over on it. So H6 is definitely not there. So let's look to where H6 is. H6 is up here. So it's Nanansky that was built, which is fine. Go have at it. All right, so we're going to we're going to take this out. It's going to be mine now. All right, so no Vita wish to exchange text with us. Let's see. Discovery atmospheric terraforming has truly impressed us. Galactic relic collection. So plus one research point per popular empire. It's a galactic wonder. I'm not 10 percent chance of finding anything in ruins. Eh, that would have been nice, but. I almost uh, transporter room. This is actually probably more important to me. Uh, but the problem is I have to build them on the ships. Give me galactic knowledge instead. Um, uh, you know, I almost want to just do it because I want to stay on good terms with them. So we'll just do it. Stay on good terms. Doesn't matter to me. Alright, so we're going to be on better terms with the cake for now, since we're going to take out the humans. Alright, so influence leader. We are attempting to... Uh, let's see. There's not many I can influence. There's not many that are going to do anything about it either. This is a 10 corporate. Wow, lord. Let's see if there's maybe something... Ooh, yes. Let's look. Let's look. So, you would actually be really good. So, let's go ahead and see if we can steal you. Alright, so... Alright, let's assign you again. Now, we'll assign you to... Wait, no, no, no. We're going to give you a spy mission. My bad. So let's go ahead and influence human leaders and try to steal them. And we'll come down here. All right, so now we got the helium. We've already, yep, so this is good, this is all good. All right, so we're just, we're kind of doing our thing, right? So, all right, looks. Like we've completed the dome, and so now they're they're underneath that. That's good. So what is the yellow? It looks like I'm I'm assuming that means that they're like wearing gas masks. We can do another dome. I didn't realize that. Okay, so let's do that. And then we don't need a marine garrison there. We don't need a cultural exchange complex. So we might go back and just go ahead and do trade goods after we've done some pressurized domes. All right. Very good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Orca and start messing things up once I get a chance here. We'll go and see. Is Pew an actual... I don't think it is, but we're going to see what we can do here. I mean, they've done messed up, right? Looks like I can't get through there. Okay, I'm going to have to come up here first. And then we'll come down here through this way. All right, we're going to keep exploring there. You know, we, we're going to do it at this point. We're going to go ahead and automate it. Wait, looks like it tells me I can say balance, shallow, or deep. Yeah, we're going to keep doing that. All right, so I am... We're going to go ahead and take this. And we're going to go to combat because I want to see how badass these things are. All right, so... You're not okay. We nope. We have to uh, go ahead and. Why aren't you moving? And turn. There we go. What? I don't understand why I couldn't have moved. But here we go. Let's go ahead and fire. I imagine it's gonna. Yeah, I was about to say. I imagine it's gonna flee, and it did. All right. So we're gonna occupy this as well. I'm just gonna take all your stuff. Because you decided you wanted to declare war on me. Which was dumb. Alright, so we can either do the path of creation for antimatter power plants. It's production per pop, unit empire per source of antimatter. That's good. 
10% population growth on Empire per source of... Oh, that's actually good, too. And then can create a planet from asteroid fields. Good lord, that's also great. Or we can use bombs, warheads, and antimatter. I'm going to choose this. I think this feels like it's going to be a little bit more door opening for me. So, it looks like now we have that at Pew. Or no, we don't. Okay. Alright, so what we'll do is we're going to allow the research. And we're going to try to get an output outpost ship here. Which reminds me, I have one here now. So let's go ahead and build an outpost on this thing. And we'll have this next... Oh wait, no, there's not another one coming. So we have to fix that. We'll build a couple outpost ships after the Orca is done. How are we doing with our... Yeah, it looks like we're... Oh no, this is it right here. Our ship support points. We're going to have enough for another Orca, I think. Yep. How many battle... Yep, seven from battleship. Okay, so yeah, well, plenty, plenty of ship support points for our Orca. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna. I mean, I'm messing you guys up. I'm sorry. I'm mad. I'm just gonna keep coming this way. We're gonna combine these two, actually. All right. So, what can we fight? Let's fight him. Let's fight them. You know what? We're going to go ahead and just auto-resolve it because I'm pretty sure we're going to destroy it. Oh, nope. doesn't matter. They ran off before we could do anything. And we'll take the one turn to Komoria. And hopefully the multi units have a surprise for you. Oh, that's very sweet. I get a frigate. I'll take it. Thank you. And Graz's command to battleship fulfilled. Yep, I know. I know, I know. All right, so volts means we can plus two cap population capacity on planet. We're not even close to the population capacity, so I'm not really worried about that right now. Uh, we're not going to worry about space elevator because this is not going to be somewhere where we build ships anyways. So let's just go ahead and do trade, trade goods for now. And we'll come over here and, and max those two out instead. All right, so let's see what we got. Auto resolve, fled, killed, fled. Why in the hell did I flee? Yeah, no, we're not fleeing. I don't understand why that would happen. So let's go ahead and go to combat. I should be just fine to take these out. Alright, so you come over here too. I mean, it may be that I'm I'm completely... Let's do auto combat for a second. Oh man, it took out my Orca. Good God. Good thing I have another orca coming. All right, so we can bombard, which is going to be good. And we're going to focus on... Do they have any... Okay, we don't. All right, so let's go ahead and... Oh, we don't have any bombardment, so let's not do that. Raiding a colony can be risky and cost you several assault ships, but it can be wonderful. We can invade for a 50% chance of winning. Let's go ahead and try it. I mean, I've got the people there. Let's just do it. And if I need to more, I'll, I'll do more. I'll do more. Yeah, it looks like I'm losing. <laughs> Invasion failed. Imagine that. All right. So we'll keep the ships there. Oh, and they've taken their stupid, stupid planet back. I want this. So I'm going to take it back. And then we have another Orca ready to come over here. So we're going to send that over here as well. Actually, we're going to send it here first. And... Palacia, can that also build Orcas? It can. All right. Needs to be a little bit more focused on industry in order to do that. But we're going to make it happen anyways. And then Trioba. I don't. I, don't, I hate keep doing that. I keep doing that. I'm sorry. 
So, the output ships are important. We've got one that's about to be... Oh, no, we've got them both going there. That's great. So, yeah, what they're going to do is they're going to go from here and then here and then take that one spot so I can grab the antimatter. So, Grass Swindler has died in combat. Awesome. Cool. So, my... my hero died because he was on the orca which I did not expect to lose but you know what uh, you know I'm just kind of I'm being a little reckless right now so it is what it is alright we're going to occupy that so what just happened okay so they did that they came by and they stole that again so that's fine. I can't wait until I crush you guys so bad. Alright, so let's do... Yeah, we're going to add attack. And helmsman? What is this giving me? Plus 15 ship defense. I like it. And yep, we're going to come back here and we're going to do the research again. Alright, so we've gained knowledge of helium being here at Draken's. And we've gained more dark matter. Which is good. And what else have we done here? So we've built another outpost ship. And we will probably actually send that down here as well. And go ahead and exploit another one of those asteroids there. All right, it looks like the humans are at war with somebody else as well. So they're at war with Dragul, and they're now... They have a mining treaty. Okay, I was about to say, holy crap. They are... They have a, quite a few treaties with the Sulak. But they're at war with me and the Draguls for some reason. So maybe we could use that to our advantage with the Draguls, and... No, we have a treaty. All right, so we have treaties. Let's. Go. I, would, I would really like to do that. I wonder why I can't. I mean, our our relations seem to be good. Let's go ahead and give them. Wow, man, that would. We thought you'd need some firepower. So why don't we? Um, We'll give him the, the Sting Destroyer. I'm good with that. I'd like to help them win their fights with the humans right now, anyways. So, it makes sense. It is both self-serving and good for my reputation with them. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anything Amos with... Oh no, here we go. Alright, so... We can use the... Antimatter here. Leaders acquire additional experience when not doing combat. Oh, this is dark matter, sorry. Lowers gravity by one level, e.g. medium becomes low. Okay, I don't think I need that. Beam accelerators. Let's go ahead and get that going. Because that'll help me. Especially since I just researched a beam. Alright, so what do you have? You have 10 corporate, which is something I was really excited about. But hold on a second. My problem is that I think I have people at every one of these planets. Don't I? I have one at Palatia and one at Mata. What about Trioba? I don't have anybody at Trioba. Okay, well then here, you can go to Trioba. There we go. And that will make me a lot of money. Alright. Now we're getting our orcas back over here. So let's get them destroyed. There we go. And we'll occupy this. We're going to wait until we can get another orca over there. So that will mean that I have to wait probably, what, eight turns? Yeah. Let's go ahead and build a few more, because we're good with our ship support points, and even then we can afford with our rather large treasury at this point. 
to go over that ship to point limit there. So that'll mean we can. It looks like they're gonna start sending things my way. Um, that's fine. I'm thinking I can handle that. So let's come here too and. Let's build an outpost. Nope, can't do that. Alright, that's fine. We're gonna send it here and build an outpost there. Alright, so build an outpost. And we will take the antimatter here, which will be good for us. Very good. Alright, so. Of course, we don't have anything to use that antimatter with, which is fine. We still want some. And what are we coming? What's what's coming here? Okay, just a few ships. We could probably be able to take that out with our orcas. My or orcas, I mean orca. Palatia. So I know I was gonna build stuff at Palatia. So orcas are being built at there and there. All right. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and see what happens. A couple more turns, and then we'll call it an episode. All right, so I'm totally going to be voting for myself. And it looks like the Moltar did, too. Very good. All right, the Nova Vita did as well. So, yeah, no wonder... The Sulak voted for themselves. I'll vote for myself as well. Alright, so I don't have the votes to win, but I'm definitely beating them by quite a bit. So, I don't even think that there's a combined enough yet. So, if I did this, so that's 43. 43. Mm, just barely underneath what I'd need. So, even if I got these two guys... I wouldn't have enough votes to win. The Sulak, I need to do something. Oh, well, the Sulak are going to vote for themselves. And the humans are like buddy buddy with the Sulak, so of course they're going to. And of course we're at war with them too, so that's a big thing. All right, let's go ahead and finish this one battle, so I, or finish this one turn so I can see this battle here. Let's see how this goes. Alright, you know, ooh, auto combat? Yes. I feel like I took actually quite a bit of damage there. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, no, let's not do that. We're gonna go ahead and attack. Oh, crap. They, I need to, oh, wow, it says, oh, that's my initiative, all right. Man, I'm going to roll out. So we fled with one of our assault ships and the other two got killed. Wow, all right, so they are a little more capable than I had expected. We're going to need to get more orcas. And yeah, these guys are pretty... I mean, clearly they're decently... Better scanner technology is required to reveal further information about the ship. Somebody wants something. What is it? Okay, we'll figure that here in a second. Um, let's come back here. Huh, okay, I I want to generate a design first. I want to see, okay, this is my Titan. Okay, all right, so. Wow, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of surprised by how badly I just got murdered. So. 
I mean, this seems like a pretty good thing. I don't... I don't really know what else I would change. But that's because I don't really know much about ship design still. We can add some lasers. We can add a laser. Alright, so we're going to save this. And we're just going to go ahead and build one to see how the Titan works. How well it works here. So we'll go to Triova, which I believe has the highest... No, it looks like Palatia has the highest industry. And I can't build them yet. So Titan construction technology is required. So where is that? There's Titan construction. There we go. All right, so we're a little screwed because I, I did not expect them to have such capable ships. And we're still a couple turns away. So how many, we have five turns for this and three turns from Palatia before we're done with an Orca. And Amada still has one coming at nine turns. I almost don't want to worry about that anymore. Let's not, oof, I could rush it. We're gonna rush it, 100%. And then we're gonna come back and just do trade goods with these guys for a little bit because I'm not really sure. Oh, wait, are you guys not happy here? What's with these new symbols? I don't know, I don't remember these symbols. Are these guys not as happy here? Let's build these here and see what happens. But now we've got that. And we know what? We can actually probably rush another one too. 795. Yeah, we can afford that. So let's do that. And we're going to have to start sending orcas over there pretty darn quickly before we start getting crushed. All right. So we're going to go ahead and say yes to this. Orca has been completed at Mata, so we're going to go ahead and send it over here ASAP. Okay, it needs to come here first. And the Orca has also been finished at Palacia here, so we're going to send that here too. Remote exploration. There's been... Oh, wow. Okay, so we found some ruins on this one as well. But we're not ready... We're not, we're not even worried about that right now, so... Our Emperor, we have a dispute with several trade unions in the construction sector. Our recent efforts to rush production of a number of projects, while necessary to be the security to the security of and prosperity of our empire, have caused these unions to demand better working conditions and higher wages for their laborers. I mean, I don't blame you. You know, we're going to go ahead and drop the most and allow for some morale. I mean. We just rushed the stuff. They're working OT. We should help them out, you know? All right. So this is a good opportunity to end this episode. You know, I've made some mistakes, which is fine. But, okay. Your Highness, I wish you to build a galactic relic collection in my system, Trioba. I wish you the best in achieving the goal. So Trioba, let's go to Trioba real quick and see if that's something I can even build. Galactic relic collection. Yes, it is. But I need three knowledge and space culture perks in order to do it. I don't have that. So you're going to have to wait, yo. Uh, yes, you can take you can take that raise. That's totally fine with me. And with that, let's go ahead and add my point to administration. Which is going to make up for the raise anyways. Alright, so... Uh, plus 15 RP to construction research. Oh yeah, that's great. Let's do that. All right, so nope, I don't think I need. Mergo gets some merit, raise desire. Oh yeah, okay, whatever. Construction pressurized dome was complete, so that was quick. Now it looks like I'll need to do one more in order to make everybody happy here, so we'll do that. And then I should be in a good spot to start taking out the humans. We will see, of course. I would hope to get more from the Dragul here. You know, we're at war with the same people. I don't know why we won't... I don't understand why they're not interested in any of this. 
we'll just keep buttering them up a bit. But it seems like they're just not really all that interested in me, so... All right, well, we're gonna keep going with our next episode. We're gonna continue to try to beat the humans back and work our way towards at least taking these. I mean, I, I wanna take everything really, but they are much stronger than I'd anticipated. So we're gonna need to keep working towards building our Titans and having those Titans ready to go. I think if we can get to the Titans quickly, we'll probably be at an advantage. Well, I mean, I know we will be an advantage for at least a time. Let's go ahead and put something up here. Uh, you guys can go to trade goods. Please and thank you. But until then, of course, I'm always up for more feedback. Let me know. So, I mean, my plan right now is to take out the humans, like I said, and then we'll come back and probably do some research, get caught up on some of that, and then maybe take, take out these guys. Although at this point, I'm thinking... Maybe because the only people who are really upset with me and by upset with me is the only people in my way right now are the Sulak. So maybe after I take out the humans, I go for the Sulak, but I feel like they are probably pretty powerful. So maybe I should take this since it's so close. I will do so in the next episode. Until then, guys, hey. Thanks for watching, and of course, like I said, please leave some comments, feedback, or whatever if you guys are really good at this. I know that there's one in particular that's been very good at helping me out, and I really appreciate it. But of course, I, you know, I've come back to it after quite a break, so I'm a little bit lost in the sauce just because I haven't, you know, I haven't been kept keeping up with it. There's a lot going on, right? So, anyways, thanks again for watching. This was Rob. Keep exploring, guys.